So if you're looking to start or already have started a YouTube channel and looking to grow your online presence, in this video I'm going to show you how to actually brand that YouTube channel, either putting your avatar in, putting your background logo in there and trying to remain consistent and more importantly trying to put that watermark subscribe button in order to grow your channel. And it is a question I have been asked, how do you add a subscribe button to your YouTube videos? And it's a simple case of adding a watermark, finding a logo you like, and I'll be walking and talking you through that entire process in this video. So I'm going to just going to jump across to my YouTube channel and my YouTube studio and show you how I do this. So here we are in my YouTube channel and it's my handle is just at Tim Peekman. Obviously, you might be watching this on YouTube, so um, a bit meta here, but you can actually see a little bit more um, how to customize channel and manage videos. So I'm just going to click on manage videos. And before I go into uh, the details of how to do this, you have to ask yourself the question, why am I growing this YouTube channel? Is it to get more subscribers or is it to get more leads or is it to get more sales? There are a lot of people out there with big channels, big subscriber accounts, but are still struggling to make sales. If it's just entertainment, that could be great. You have to get a lot of views on YouTube to try and earn that ad revenue. But the way I've built my channel is I'm always calling people to take action, either to click a link, go over to my website, and I want people to go onto my email list so I can have that relationship over time rather than a quick sale or just a subscriber. So you have to ask yourself, what is your goal? If it's subscribers, great. I'm gonna show you how to put a subscriber button on your videos. But if it is actually to grow a business off the back end, you have to ask yourself, right, how am I going to get these people off YouTube onto my own homepage? Or even better, how to download a free guide. And top tip, if you stay all the way to the end of this video, I'm going to give you an opportunity to go deeper with me and download one of my free guides. So here I am inside my studio. And all you need to do is scroll down to customization. And in customization, there's a branding tab here. You just click on branding and then you have three options. So firstly, you should have some kind of avatar that showcases you. If you are a personal brand, if it's not a personal brand, what the brand is all about. And you should upload that to across all of your socials, on your YouTube, uh, in your Google emails, everywhere. So anytime somebody sees some content from you or your brand, they know exactly who it's from and what you do. So here you can just add or upload a picture of you. Um, and top tip, if you can try and make the background stand out from everyone else, have a scroll through on Instagram, have a scroll through on Facebook, see what branding actually stand out to you and then do the same. Then a banner image. A banner image is simply the image that goes across the top. So who you are, what you do. So weekly tips and tools for building your online business. And it also gives you a, a, a few links that you can actually link in with your banner. And this is just taking people over to my, my five-step revenue system, which is my, um, my download, my free download to try and generate leads. And then ultimately that relationship over time and then leading to more sales. But this is what I'm going to focus on in this video. It's the video watermark. So people do ask, how do I add a subscribe button to my YouTube channel? Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this, whether it actually is a subscribe button that you want or it's your logo that you want. Some large channels, they have built up a big following. They simply put the logo in the bottom right of their videos. It is actually still a subscribe button, but if you're just starting out and you want people, you're trying to uh, call them to action indirectly or directly, then I would recommend having a subscribe button in the bottom right uh, of all of your videos. So in order to find a logo that I might like and add as a subscribe button, all I do is um, I would Google it. So go to Google and type in something like YouTube subscribe button with transparent background. Once you do this, uh, I would just hit images and then I'll try and find one that um, I like the look of and it actually looks decent for your channel. Now, just be careful. It has to have a subs uh, subscribe button with a transparent background or I would recommend. Um, so if you were to click on any of these and open them up, uh, some of them, if you open image in new tabs, some of them might, might actually let you grab them, but some of them might take you to another website. But if you have a look at, uh, say, if I look at this one here, open image in a new tab, 
yes, that's going to allow me to, to download this image here. So if I click save image as, and I'm going to just go YouTube subscribe button. If I save that, then I can upload that back into uh, my channel. If you just be careful though, if you do have a, um, any images that you open in a new tab and they still show you that checkered flag in the background, that's not really a transparent background. You could use that, but it wouldn't look too good. Um, as you can see here, this one I found, I've done a bit of searching and found one with a transparent background um, that actually, uh, you can actually see here that it's got a transparent background and it will come up in, in my videos. So once you've actually found a logo that you like, now again, this could be your brand logo, but if you wanted to increase the number of subscribers on your channel, give them that call to action um, indirectly. Upload that image here, and then it's got three options here. You can either have it at the end of your video, so it will come up right at the end of your video, or you could say uh, custom start time, so after the first like five seconds, 10 seconds, this will actually flash up. So uh, that might be a good strategy for you, but. Uh, I just use the entire video, so as soon as my video plays, uh, this subscribe button will come up. And if you're watching on YouTube or embedded on other websites, people can still just click that subscribe button and subscribe to your channel and click the bell notification uh, to actually get any updates. So that's actually how to do it. Try and get a transparent background image, upload it here, and again, try and be um, consistent with all of your branding and everything that you put out. And then once you actually um, publish that, you have a look, if you go to any of these videos, you can then just see that this pops up straight away. Um, and then people, once they hover over this, they can click subscribe, subscribe to your channel. So that's it, a super short video for you today on how to actually add a subscribe button as a watermark to your videos and make sure that you have that avatar and that branding consistent across your, your banner, your logo and your colors remain the same. So every time you put out content, people know that it's your content. And as promised, because you've stayed to the end, I'm gonna offer you a free guide. If you head to timpinkman.com forward slash five steps, you can download my guide that I've actually used to grow this online business and how I generate online revenue just by following these five steps. So head to timpinkman.com forward slash five steps. It's a simple PDF download. Download it today and take action. And I look forward to seeing you again on another video soon.